the front of the camera here, we've got just to the to the right of your buttons here, you've got a little white thing here as well, and that is actually your auto focus assist beam. And uh, you press that halfway down. You don't want to cover that up because you want your camera to be able to uh, have that assist beam in low light, so you can auto focus. Now on this side of the camera, we've got a couple of options here. We've got the flash, which if you got your camera on. You pop, we press that button, and you have to be in program or any of the other modes that are creative. Uh, and you can press that flash button; it'll pop that flash. You want to be careful with this; it it's mechanical there. You, you don't want to, you know, break it off. But it's it's pretty tough, so you don't have to worry about it too much. But just you know, be gentle with it. Also, you've got your lens release button here. You press that, and you can uh, release the lens, take that off and put on a different lens and you just put that back on and screw it that way like Kayla showed you earlier and then you've also got your depth of field preview button and that will actually stop down the iris so you can see kind of what your what your uh, picture is going to look at look like whenever you're taking the picture the next thing here is your uh, mic here right above your EOS Rebel T2i uh, display there you can see that there is a little a couple of three little or four little dots there and that is actually the mic so don't cover that up whenever you're shooting in movie mode because you want to be able to use that <laughs> you've also got your eyelet on the other side for your strap we had one on this side as well but this is for the other side and you've got your inputs and outputs so you've got your mic in you've got your remote and you've got your uh, audio video out this will be to uh, regular display before HD and it will also do um, your digital you can do USB out with this option as well you've also got your HDMI out below that so you can go out to your HD camera and really preview what you've taken for uh, friends and family at the family reunion or whatever you want to do there so and then also if you notice there's a little symbol there on the top of the back of your camera there and that's actually where the uh, sensor is on your camera so if you're measuring uh, measuring out to uh, where that is that's that's where the sensor will actually be so and then you've also got I didn't talk about this earlier this is your flash if you want to add an external flash this is where you do that as well on the bottom of your camera you've got your tripod ring there and you can uh, put a tripod on there as well as your uh, camera information and your battery you just push that in pop it out and you push that to the to the right there and you can pop that battery out and uh, put it back in, charge it and put it back in. You've also got your card open and to pop that out you just push the key memory card in and it'll pop back out and you just put it back in like that. And that is really all of the buttons and uh, knobs on the outside of your camera. You also have these two options here on the lens. Uh, some, some lenses don't have the stabilizer but most of them, well, the one that you come with probably will. Uh, it's got the uh, stabilizer on off. Uh, you can turn that on. It'll help you with the uh, camera shake. It also diminishes the battery a little bit, but uh, not too much. It's usually worth it. Um, as well as you've got your autofocus to manual focus. If you want to be uh, real exact with the focus and you want to adjust it, you can do that with the manual fo focus there, or you can switch it to autofocus. So that's really all there is on the outside of the camera. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the Modile settings.